Hey people of the century, Andrew Blades one here and we're back. The last time I did this was for the 23rd film in the Andrewverse, Dreamscape. What I did was basically did a run through of the different eras in the Andrewverse. We have gone through the beginning era, now we're getting ready to tap into the second era, the dark era. This was the era where I started to figure out what the Andrewverse would become. The films that we're going to be visiting through runs through the dark era. Let's get to it. And no, I'm not putting on a jacket. <laughs> it gets too hot in here. Let's start off with the 100 subscriber special, which we visited a lot this year. And the year isn't even over. Half the year isn't even over. We're not done yet. Next up is the Lego Chronicles. Next up, Parallel Andrew. Betrayal is the truth. This one might sound familiar, the Forbidden Tree 3.
like and what's different about this theme is that it actually goes down. It keeps going down and down, emphasizing the darkness rising. It's also a little faster than its predecessors, but wait till we get to the final chapter. Well, wait. Here we have Acquiescence, and I pronounced it wrong during most of the film. I had to fix that by correcting it and using it as a joke. So instead of saying Acquiescence, it was like Aqua Scene, so you know. Okay, let's get on with it. Let's continue with the Lego Revelations. And you're probably wondering, what do these Lego films have to do with Andrewverse? I have plans. And here we have it, Fractured Andrew. have day in day out I might say an underrated one because TFT4 came right after it That was harder than expected. Imagine how much TFT4 is gonna bring to me. By the way, TFT4 is the last one. I'm gonna get myself ready.
<sighs> and there is the dark era. What I'm doing with this piano bits and pieces is it embodies the three different eras of the films. Dreamscape was kind of a callback to the beginning era and how that all started. Hence the simplistic plot about an Andrew trying to figure out a situation aside his complexities. No Man's Land embodies that dark era feeling. Questions of betrayal, trust, and many more. And it's going to return in more ways than one. When Infinite Andrew Part 2 comes out, the Creator era is heavily embodied on that since it is the finale to the Creator era. That's it. Bye, People's Century, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.